Well, hey, YouTube, it's Elvis Sam Mo here. Hey, guys, uh, in this video, I want to show a lot of you guys who are thinking about uh, using solar as a uh, backup energy, how to connect these what we call MC4 connectors. All right. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you. Uh, without a lot of confusion hopefully on how to connect these MC4 connectors to our solar cable and uh, a lot of us uh, old timers might remember these old connectors the SAE connectors um, these MC4 connectors are by far the most popular and uh, and waterproof and best connectors that we use right now so um, if you guys have thought about using you know solar panels like this um, on the back side of these solar panels there are a male and a female end these are the cables that come out of the solar panel this is a male right here you have this long male connector and this end is your female it has a hole there and you connect these two together and they snap in alright so whenever you get uh, it's it's a, a heck of a lot cheaper to buy your cable and make these connections yourself and if you're into solar then you're probably going to want a set of crimpers and I'll put all of this in the description and a couple of these crazy little tools right here that I'm going to show you how they operate and um, and you can buy you know in bulk these MC4 connectors that look like this as they're put together and they just come apart you push these two little prongs right here sometimes you can't get your fingers in there good sometimes you can and then they lock into place and I'm going to show you how these work um, but if you do need to disconnect these and you can't get your chubby fingers inside there like I can't sometimes you can just take these two little prongs right here and push it right in there I'll show you on this side you just push it in there like that and it pushes those prongs for you and then you can connect it disconnect it like that okay so that's how they work uh, the the MC4 connectors that you just seen on the back of the solar panel look slightly different than this but they're all the same don't worry all right so now um, so if you uh, if, if you uh, are prepared and you have gas backup generators and things like that we know our gas runs out and uh, in future videos I'm going to create a playlist so that in future videos I'm going to show you how your gas generators and solar generators can work together alright so now for a lot of us that um, uh, are that use solar uh, we don't necessarily believe in in uh, in solar power as a utility to sell to consumers because sometimes these places that have a lot of green power uh, solar power wind power can run out of energy very quickly if the sun or the winds not blowing and um, we end up with no power so as an individual as a prepared individual solar can be a viable option as a backup system and uh, and even long term so um, as an individual we can control the amount of solar power that we have and even if we don't have enough of it to run everything we'll have enough of it to run something alright so that's my philosophy so here we go um, connecting these MC4 connectors what you have is you have these two ends the male end and the female end 
and then you have these two inserts right here. One of them is long and one of them is short like that and um, so this is your male the long one this is your female so this female insert goes into your female connector and vice versa your long male con insert goes into your male connector alright so now the other thing that you might notice is one of them is fatter than the other so the thing don't be confused about this female short end it actually inserts into the male connector here okay so don't be confused by that at all it's just going into the male and the female connector alright so we got that out of the way so now what I've done is I've connected already a male on the black end and uh, so here's where you don't need to be confused at all okay don't worry about what end you put these on just worry about having the opposite on the other end of it so on this black cable for instance if you put a male end on it on the other end of this black cable and uh, of course the 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 you know your black is negative your red is positive all right but on your on this black end I got this male end so on the other end of this black end on this roll I'm gonna need I got the male end I'm gonna need a female end all right and vice versa you got the uh, female end on this red one for instance you're gonna need to put a male end on the other end of it all right just that simple so now what I've done is I got started already I got the the male and the female end and uh, and on the other end of this male I have um, the the black end, the black wire negative wire I got a, a male end here so on this end of it I'm gonna need to put a female end and I've already crimped this on and I'm going to show you in just a minute the last crimp that I need to make so you can see how they're done so I'm going to put this uh, female on here I've already crimped this insert on here and I, uh, I took these ends and I slid them over the wire like that I got the o-ring facing the outside and now what you're going to do is I'm going to insert this into the female coupling and it's just going to snap in. I'm going to push it and you hear it click. I pull it and it can't come out. It is in there and it's permanent already. So now I'm going to seal it and tighten it. So I'm going to put this uh, grommet right in there like that and I'm going to screw this right over and tighten it and then I'm going to use this crazy tool right here with this hole in it and it's going to fit right over just like that like that and then I'm going to take the other one and I'm going to put it over here push it on and just tighten it just clock righty tighty lefty oop wrong way <laughs> I'm looking in the camera, everything's backwards. See it clicks, just like that. And that's all there is to it. It's just a couple of cheesy rinses that work wonderful. <clears throat> so now the only thing, the only one that I have left now to do is uh, is I need to put on one end of this red, I have a female connection. And I need to finish this cable by putting a male connection on this end. And the way that you do that is um, these cables, this particular cable come with cuts already. I'm going to get a little bit more than that of a bite. Now it's probably not necessary, but to satisfy myself, I just want just barely a little bit more 
pull that off just about that much right there um, don't go overboard you better to underdo it than overdo it all right and I'm gonna twist these cables up now I'm gonna show you how this crimper works this is a very important tool in my opinion because um, and I'm gonna put a list to all of this stuff in the description so that you can look at it and purchase it if you want all right so now to crimp this I'm gonna, I need to put a uh, male connection on this end to finish this cable system out and so I'm going to use my my long insert and uh, in order to do this it makes my life a little bit easier just to go ahead and put this in this crimper alright so I'm going to uh, I'm going to set it in there and you've got to make sure it's up standing upright and you'll know what I mean when you get one and I'm just barely got it held in there to where I'm holding it for myself like that so that I can insert this wire in I'm going to insert this wire in and I'm going to squeeze it and you squeeze it hold it all the way down and it'll open right back up on by itself now you can look at that connection right there and and it's uh it's solid it's a solid connection it's not going nowhere all right so now what i do is you need to take this end off and that little grommet slide it over your cable make sure you do that before you insert this because it won't come back off once you push it in and then just like I did on the female side I'm gonna push this in and it snapped it went all the way into the bottom and you can see the end of it sticking out right there and I'm gonna pull on it see it won't come out so now I'm gonna put that grommet in there and I'm gonna slide this over And I'm going to put this stupid little wrench over the front of that. And this stupid little wrench over there. And I'm going to turn it until it clicks. Just like that. That's it. So now you have your male and female on the end of your red and your black wire positive and negative positive negative and on the other side of the cable I have my there's the the two black ends one end and the other one has a male and one has a female and on my positive cables I have on one end of the cable a male and a female just like that and now we can make connections from our solar panels to our generator or our uh, or our uh, inverters or uh, solar controllers and battery systems and anything else but that's as simple as that it can't get any easier and the cost of a couple of cables um, will will certainly uh, uh, you'll you'll certainly be able to just in the cost of just a couple of cables you'll be able to get your money back for your crimper and your you know bolt connectors that you buy and that kind of thing so shop smart and uh, and solar energy I'm gonna be doing uh, I'm gonna be doing some tests on stuff and show you some practical applications on how to collect solar energy and how to use it in a practical manner for us guys that like to be prepared I'll see you guys in the next video